Emilia Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It's Radu Kanu time, and we're back on the grass. That is right. And we are in Nottingham in the UK. It is the grass court season once again, and we've got Radu Kanu Goliabic for this one. This one should be quite interesting because obviously we've not seen anyone on grass since Wimbledon last year. And Radu Kanu, as we know, last time we saw her on the grass courts, she caused quite the stir on the tennis tour. She was, yeah, very impressive at Wimbledon, getting all the way to the fourth round and pulling out, unfortunately, due to, uh, I think it was some breathing issues. I'm uh, not exactly sure of the fine details, but yeah, it was something to do with uh, anxiety, some sort of attack, I think, on the court. It was very, very sad to see, but... That's what can happen, unfortunately, when you're new to the game. She's no longer that new to the game. She's nearly a year on the uh, professional tour now. So let's see how she fares. And she's going to be up against uh, somebody who's actually really good. She hasn't had a very good draw here at all. This is Victoria Goljevic, uh, who has last year, when she got was in Wimbledon, she got to the quarterfinals. So she actually even surpassed Radu Kanu in last year's Wimbledon and uh, in the tournaments before that. She actually did play Nottingham last year. She only got through one round against uh, Arn, went out to Van Utvank, but uh, that was in straight sets. After that, she went to Birmingham, lost to Heather Watson, went to Eastbourne and actually did quite well at Eastbourne. She got all the way to the quarterfinals there as well. That one's into the net. And it is Radu Kanu level at 30 all here in the first game. If you are just joining us, please remember, whack a like on the video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you are new to the channel. I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of British people joining us. Just because it's Radu Kanu. We're in the UK and it's the grass court swing again. Isn't that great? And as you can see, as it is a new tournament, there is a new top tippers. That's, that's one's kicking off. If you want the chance to get on the top tipper leaderboard, just send us anything via Super Chat or via the link, uh, the PayPal link in the description, and we will get that added for you. Any donations are welcome. Yeah, let's get some predictions in because I see Lex has gone for one already. <laughs> Lexi saying, of course, I'm going for Emma in two sets. I'm going to go for Emma in three sets, actually. I think Golibix actually proved herself more on the grass last year than, than Radu Kanu. And well, she's been playing longer as well. So Radu Kanu, every tournament, she could have been given a little bit of a better draw, considering she's the second seed in the tournament. She's got a very, very bad draw. So, But that's just the way it goes. If you really want to win it, you got to beat the best. There's a good shot down the line. Radu Kanu can only just about get it in. There's the drop shot, and it's already the break for Victoria Goljevic. Very, very crafty play. Oh, I've just realized that I've got the old break button on here. I've got the clay one. It's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. Let me see if I can find the grass court one. Bear with me. Right, they're changing ends just briefly. I'll see if I can get this uploaded just before they start playing tennis again. We do have Carlton in saying, so evening, everyone. How are you doing? MQR as well. How are you doing? Let's get your uh, predictions in. Sean and Emma seems to get broken a lot. So three sets. Yeah, uh, I, I'd agree with that, especially someone as good as Golubic as well, the Swiss player. Very good. Big Zavs in with Bamos Emma. I like it. Bringing in a bit of that Rafa energy. I think she's going to need it today, that's for sure. All right. 
even know if I do have a broken in uh, grass court. If I don't, then shame on me. I'm sure I must do. I can't see one. Well, anyway, we don't have one for now. I can't find it, so I'll go with the other break button just for now. There you go. I'll get that updated as soon as I possibly can for you guys. That one's long from Golubic there. It's a new little layout as well here. So I'm just trying to get it so we're looking good. Well, I think that all fits in. This is a WTA 250 event, should be noted. There are no 500 events going on this week. We've got Carlton going Golubic in two. Sorry, Ben. I might forgive you. Emma comes to the net. Brilliant lob there from Golubic. MQR saying, I'm going 7563 Golubic. One handed backhands are a rarity in WTA. Yeah, they really are. It's nice to see, though, isn't it? Really nice. Don't get many of them. I think the only other one I can think of is Gaspalian, I think. I think she has a one hander. Messes up the ball toss there, Golubic. Serve is in. Not the most powerful serve, but there's that nice single-handed backhand again. Forehand from Emma, and it is long, and we got two break points. Can she break straight back here? We can only hope so. Let's wait and see. Oh, she's bouncing around on the baseline. That's a promising sign. Just long. Oh, it's about having to wait. Not sure what's going on. Serve is in. Good return, though, from Raducanu. Oh, great backhand. There's that single-hander again from Goliubic. And that's what that's what she can do. All right, 30-40. See what's going to happen here. Good return from Raducanu. Oh, what a backhand that is from Goliubic. I absolutely love the look of that. Not going to get tired of seeing her hit winners off a single hander. That's for sure. And it is juice. The break points extinguished. We've got Michael Walker in. How are you doing, Michael? Good to see you, bud. Saying so, Emma. Uh, Emma, do you can who better win? Is this a play on her name? Radu, can you? Radu, you can? I don't know. You'll have to rephrase that, please, Michael, if possible. Right, well, Golubic saved the break points, and not uh, only that, she's now advantage. Radu Kani backhand cross court. That single, that single hander looks like it might be a problem for Radu Kani today. But... but the one positive that could come from today is if Raducanu was to come through this match, I think that'd be a really positive sign. So I think a, a close match today or a win, especially in any shape or form, would be amazing. I'm not saying that she's going to go on and win Wimbledon, but it would be promising signs. That's all I'm saying. And a fault there and an opportunity here for the second serve. See what she gets handed here. Good backhand cross court from Raul Kanu. Goes down the center with power. Cross court. Golubic has to chop it. Raul Kanu comes in. Nice winner. Down the line from Raul Kanu there. Really opened her body up. Made the difference. Right, so another break point, Raducanu, the third one of this game. Michael saying who, because who is she? She's the US Open champion. Bill saying, hi, Ben, you on lunch break or something? You're correct, Bill. I am on lunch break. How did you guess? Oh, Gene, thank you very much, mate. Just saying, just sent 
uh, a PayPal tip for you again. Thank you, Gene. Really do appreciate that, mate. That's very, very kind of you. Is this for Radu Kanu? Excited to see her back out on the grass. Is that it, Gene? Oh, saying thank. Hopefully, Emma will make me happy. Oh, I hope so too. And it's into the net, and she gets another break point here. This could be a big. This could be a big first game. It's a bit mad. A big first, well, game on the board. I'd say, I should say. All right, well, break point again for Radu Kanu. Let's see what she can do. Serves wide. She gets a second serve opportunity here. Sean saying, is Jack Draper playing at Queen's? I haven't heard any announcements yet. I would assume that he probably would be, though. Backhand, cross court. Nice forehand. Got Golly a bit running. It's wide. And there we go. It is the break. I only have the clay one, so I'm going to have to go with it again for now. Just like that. Raducanu. She's back in the match. Gene saying, how much is it for a button? Well, the amount that you sent, Gene. So you do get a button press, whichever button that you would like. Uh, you are on the top tip as lead, but look at Gene, everyone. Look at him up there. Dizzy Heights, number one. Cheers, Gene. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, let us know what button that you want. <laughs> Sam H is all over it. I want the joke button. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I've, I've, you've been converted, it seems, Sam. Right, 30 love. Radu Kani looking good on her serve here. Mark saying, did Emma buy a new house? Uh, must have done. I think that she moved to a gated community just because to get away from the paparazzi. Just wide from the first serve. Yeah, the Midnight Woodsman in. How are you doing? Saying break suddenly feels massive again. Now we're on grass. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Oh, it's into the net there from Raducanu on the run. And it is 30-15. Can she get ahead for the first time in this match? Surprised there's not more people there watching. There's quite a few, but I'm guessing it is during work time. No one had the chance to nip down there on their lunch break. Serve him. Oh, just just wide there on the first serve. Gene saying, I want a bit of TFO. Oh, I love it. Boring, Gene. <laughs> Sam saying, I don't think you know how good the button is. Well, I appreciate that. That is That does mean a lot. I'm really, I was very happy. Like sometimes they just come out well, like it could be for the most random player. And then I just come up with just a random idea at the time. I don't know. It's potluck sometimes. I'm, I have to say, I'm playing myself down a bit, but I think you have to because I don't even know. I don't plan anything until I sit down and then start making it. And then suddenly I go, ooh, little brain waves just come over me. All right, well, Gene, you can have the TFO button by, by all means. We do have Andy Murray coming up today. And there you go, Radu Khan, who does consolidate the break. Come on. So, 2-1. Shaky start. Already corrected like that. And here you go, Gene, just for you, buddy. You can have JG. He's just going to sing you a little song. I'm going to make a whole song called Francis. I'm bringing it out soon. Francis, what you do to me?
Wow, there's JG. And we got Sam with all of my emojis. Just love these days. What happened to your long hair? That was the COVID hair. The co- I didn't go to the hairdressers for about over a year, maybe more. Probably, yeah, definitely more. Probably about 18 months. It just got so, so long. But it was a weird feeling having it all cut off, I tell you. Kathy saying it's never boring to hearing JG sing at that great button. Yes, I totally agree. Great to have you in, Kathy, as well. Oh, Eva Holger Rune, <laughs> not a joker. Uh, one is uh, Sam's favourites. That's good to know. I quite like those as well. I'm not going to lie. Those ones, you're liking the old 90s vibes buttons then, like the progressive house music. I quite like those as well, I have to say. The ones with the pianos. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. All of those. Yeah, Kathy saying Francis should play more just so that we can hear the button. Yeah, I agree. Well, now we're on the grass court. He's pretty good on the grass. So we could be seeing uh, Francis TFO. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with Raducanu. She's already taken some sort of tablets. That's not a good sign. Fingers crossed all is okay. All right, well, bear with me a second. I'm just trying to uh, quickly knock up. Uh, I'm not sure how I don't have a. Bear with me one second. I, I'm not sure how I don't have a break button for grass. I thought I did. Terrible. Apologies. Oh, no. Raducanu with a medical timeout, and we're only in the the third game or fourth game. It's terrible. Yeah, that's not good at all. I mean, she's having, like, some sort of abdominal issue, it seems like, at the moment. She's just uh, on the floor being massaged. Yeah, Luke's saying, Radu can't do. <laughs> oh, dear. Why medical timeout? I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like it's just underneath the rib cage. Um, just having, I don't know how to best uh, describe it. It's just like uh, some, some massage being done to the lower rib area. Just it looks like it could be abdominal, though. I'm not sure where it may have come from. They're showing some clips of her just hitting the ball. It's not a good sign, though, is it? I mean, already, and you saw her wincing after playing like a rally, grabbed her side straight away. Maybe it was on one of the backhands that she threw. But it didn't look didn't look good. And yet again, we're we're here talking about a Raducanu injury, which is just what we don't want. We don't yeah, it's definitely not cramps, Landon. Yeah, it's not because she's losing. Definitely isn't. It's just she just seems a little, uh, little bit frail. I don't know. It's a bit. I don't. Maybe she's a little bit too petite. I don't know. She seemed to be all right before, but I don't know. Will her body withstand years on the tennis tour? This is the one question we have to ask ourselves at the moment. She's had so many medical timeouts, so many issues. She looks in real pain, though. Like when the, when uh, the physio is pushing down on the air, saying, "Do does this hurt?" You see her instantly, like ah, like wincing. Fingers crossed, she's going to be able to play on. Well, hopefully, it's nothing too serious, but it's very sad. I mean, this is. <sighs> It's not something I really wanted to be seeing right now. I'm I'm very disappointed, as I'm sure you can hear. Well, I can I'm try and show you quickly what's uh, what's happening, just in case you you lot are wondering. So oh, so they've the time the medical timeout is about to finish anyway. So she's going to have to get back on her feet and. 
either continue or retire. That's her. That's what she's got to do. I should give you an idea of what is going on. It is like this. So as you can see here, as she's being pressed down on, you can see like it's not looking too pleasant at the moment. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's that's the state of pain that she's in. Uh, she is back out on the court. The crowd are applauding that she's back up and back out there again. Let's see if that's going to affect the rest of this match. I really hope it isn't because that would just be a very sad state of affairs. Yeah, we do have Andy Murray that we're covering as well today. Andy Murray, I believe he's on very soon. And there you go. Radu Khan starts off with a winner here, though. Yeah, Andy Murray on in about five minutes' time. And David will be taking you through that one. So if anybody's interested in seeing how Andy Murray gets on against Chris O'Connell, friend of the podcast, uh, actually chatted to Chris when we were out in Zagreb, which was really nice. Just... uh to meet him in person. Very nice guy. Just long down the line. All right, love 30. Serve is in. Backhand return is long. I'm interested to see which side um, the, the pain's coming from. I thought potentially it was the backhand side when she was twisting. Uh, my can't say an early strategic medical timeout. Yeah, that's it. She just broke and consolidated. Now's the time to take that um, medical timeout. Yeah, well, we'll wait and see. Hopefully she's all okay. Good return there. The backhand from Golubic, and it's down the center, playing it into Raducanu's backhand. She goes down the line, cross court. They go now. Raducanu's got her on the run. There you go, two break points. Fifteen forty. All right, 15.40, two break points. Down the tee. Backhand down the middle of the court. Good depth from Golubic here, though. Now cross court, Raducanu drop shot from Golubic. Raducanu gets there. She goes down the line. It's too good. Raducanu. Somehow digging deep and finding what is another break. Just like that, she breaks again. Great to see. 3 1. She's up in the game, up in the match. This is more like it from Raducanu. Maybe we're not going to have to hear about the injury woes anymore. Hopefully those tablets kicked in soon. Jean saying, well, she looks fine to me. Could have been a spasm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Eve saying what we can say clearly. Radicon will need quite some to be ready physically for the grind of the tour. Yeah, I totally agree. Great winner there from Golubic. Goes back just close to her feet, and it does just fly past. All right, well, love 15. Kathy saying, is JG doing Murray? No, he'll be covering, once my lunch break's finished, he'll be jumping on here uh, to cover the next part of this match. Gene saying, as I said, another tip for the rune button. Appreciate that, Gene. You are a bit of an OG, mate. Let me get that added on for you. Bear with me. 
Backhand into the net there from Raudu Kanu, though. On that Holger room button, eh? God, that's a good one. Good choices today, Gene. I'm impressed. Been doing your button homework. You know the you know the ones that I like. Just have to try and find it now. There it is. Serving. Love 30. Goes out wide. It's into the net. It, it could even be like uh, the serving for Raducanu as well. That often takes a toll on the on the abs. Next time, Ben, I'll go to David. No worries. You go wherever the, uh, the internet takes you, wherever you want, whichever match suits you better. Oh, it's just over the net there from Raducanu. It is break point number one has been saved. Gene saying, I should know all the buttons by now. Yes, you really should, Gene. Oh, I hope you sing them at home on your own, dancing around, or get some other people involved singing them. Why not? Luke saying, I want Emma to win. We want the Battle of the Brits in the next round. It is into the net from Raducanu. We have another break of serve. Seems that that's all we're going to get today is another break of serve. There we go. And we're back on serve again. Are we surprised? Not really. Oh, oh no. She back, she's back on her side again just for a changeover. This doesn't look like particularly like this match is going to go very long, to be honest. I don't know if she's going to be able to keep playing like this. Every changeover just having her ribs pressed in or abs pressed in. Yes, I mean, this is just for the changeover. She's just got somebody in again. I mean, it's not even a medical timeout. They're just literally working on her in this tiny little moment. I mean, it's getting a bit, a bit worried or a bit worrying. Sorry. Sean saying, bring out the chiropractor. I'm not sure what they're doing, but there's obviously something which is connected to her left arm being lifted up and like a, a lot of pressure being applied down her left side. It's just like some massage techniques that it looks like. And Jonathan's saying, beautiful weather in Nottingham. I mean, I think it's just great weather in the UK in general today. Also, Raducanu spent her whole changeover on the floor. And now she's going to, uh, she, she tries to get back to her feet. Now she's uh, going to get her racket. She's going to go back out again. Crowd happy to see it, but. Gotta to, got to say, you're probably a bit disappointed if you've uh, paid the admission to come in to see Radu Kanu today. You, know, you might not even get a full match. But, yeah, I don't want her to injure herself more. That one's wide on the backhand. Jonathan saying, carrying on amazingly. <laughs> We'll wait and see. <laughs> the jury is still out, I think. Serves in. Good backhand return. It's into the net from Goliwick. Sorry, Gene. I forgot to press your button in that uh, changeover. It got caught out by the medical timeout. Eve saying, isn't Radu kind of forcing herself to play? It looks like it to me. I'm not sure if she should really be playing. If she's actually... And Luke's saying, Emma seems to always be injured, yeah. Oh, that one clipped the net cord, just lands in. Backhand down the line from Radu Kanu. It's cross court. It lands in from Goliwick. The backhand is a great one. It's got, I don't think that Radu Kanu is going to be able to get to anything that is on the stretch today. It looks like if you pop it in the corner, she's going to struggle. That's my personal opinion. That was a great backhand, though. 
<laughs> Freya was saying, hi Ben, hi chat. Can you imagine how YouTube hates me? Since you guys got that unfair strike, I didn't receive any notifications about live streams. I missed them all. Yeah, we feel like there has been something happening since that strike. Unfortunately, we haven't, like there's been a few streams that haven't sent out notifications, which is worrying to say the least. So fingers crossed that they're all back and running again. Hopefully you got one for this one. Great drop shot there from Golubic or Golubic. Is consolidation. Three games all. Three games all. Three games all. Three games all. Is Radu Kanu gonna make it to the end of the match? Jonathan said Emma has to give has to give up or has given up. Which one is it? Because they're very different things, Jonathan. Didn't even run for that last ball. I don't know if she's got got it in her at the moment. That's the problem. Ah, uh, she's she has. I think it's done. I don't think this match is going to go any longer. And that is it. I think I I reckon she didn't. She's not running for stuff. I think Jonathan may have hit it on the head there spotted something that maybe i didn't i thought that she was running but stumbling a bit i don't think she'll make the end of the first set eve if i'm perfectly honest it's falling apart a bit here yeah pretty poor and what can you do you can only beat who's put in front of you golly a bitch will probably say and if she's not playing her best clips the net cord there Forehand cross court. It's long from Golubich. Fifteen all. Gene saying you can play the button now. Go on then. We'll give you a button press. Seeing as this uh, match is going a little bit strange. <laughs> There you go, Gene. Enjoyed that one. <laughs> oh, nice forehand. Go cross court, down the line. There's no chance she's getting that. I think we're clearly seeing signs that she's not going to be running for anything today, sadly. That is a real sad oh, it's a sight for sore eyes, isn't it? Oh, she gonna? No, oh, I mean it's just looking really bad. Breaks. Oh dear, three games in a row. Oh, Garu, he gonna take your breath away. Oh, Garu. Good choice, that, Jean. At least we could rely on you. And she's back on the floor again. Um, It's not, it's just not good, is it? It's a very bad look right now for Raducanu. It doesn't really look good because the Wimbledon on the uh, horizon either, does it? It doesn't look good at all. So, Golubic up a break now. She was down 3-1. Now she's up a break. Um, she's on her side again. I don't think this match will continue. I mean, you can't. She had This is like four medical timeouts, pretty much. We're not even anywhere in this match. It's a bit crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anyone have so many. Jonathan saying, if this is a niggling injury, 
Can she have one of these at every single changeover? It's a bit ridiculous. Well, I'm not sure what's going to be said here. Sounds like she's going to have to retire, I think. She's talking to the umpire. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah. And it's over. 4-3 retirement. Radu Kanu out of her first grass court tournament. Very sadly. Uh, what more can you say? Um, bit disappointed about that, to be honest. Um, all I can say is make sure you travel over and watch Andy Murray versus Chris O'Connell. That one is on right now with David showing that match. So we let's everybody in this one, all 75 of you, move over to catch Andy Murray, who is down a break and almost, well, yeah, he's too loved down at the moment in the first set. Go over and give Andy Murray your support. Can he get past... Uh, Chris O'Connell, friend of the pod. We'll have to wait and see. I'm a bit torn. Yeah, Sam, I'm sick of seeing Emma like this. Yeah, it's you and me both. You and me both. It's, it's just becoming like a running theme, isn't it? Well, I've got to get back to work anyway. So in a way, it's sort of sort of did me a favor in a, in a way because I didn't really even have time to cover this. I was just doing it for you guys because I feel that we should bring you matches when we can. Make sure you head over to our other stream, Murray versus O'Connell. I'll just pop that. There you go. That's just in the... Uh... Oh, I just noticed that David's got the Nottingham Open uh, thing on. Oh, dear, David. David, David. I'll have to go in and uh, just uh, speak to him. No worries. Anyway, leave this stream. Go to Andy Murray. Uh, unlucky Radu Kanu. Hopefully come back stronger. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Remember, go watch Andy Murray. Go see Andy Murray. He needs your support. Come on. He lost last week to uh, Dennis Kudler. Can he get back on track? He's losing at the moment. With your help, he might be able to win. Right. Over and out.